listen to this real quick. Hello. I mean, please keep your phone. Hey, I'm at Wendy's. Could you buy me some? Would you buy me some Wendy's? I'm I'm short fifteen cent. Could you cash at me fifteen cent? Hello. Yes, is this Charles? Yes, I need fifteen cent. Can you give me fifteen cent? Huh? Could you cash at me fifteen cent? I need it bad. I need fifteen cent. I can't get these these potato wedges from Wendy's. I need fifteen cent. They about to close in like two minutes too. Hello. Hello, hi, is this Charles? Yeah. Hi, this is Sam on a recorded line with America's Health. I'm just calling about the utility food and grocery card and the new Part B gift bag. Have you received any of those benefits yet, sir? Yeah, my food was spoiled. I'm talking about my food was spoiled. It came in a box. It had all kind of mold on it. I want a child to come and get it. Could you come and pick it up so I could just frown in your face and you could see it for yourself? It's just mold all over this box. And I don't like it, man. It's just getting on my nerves that they just keep sending me molded bread, molded cheese, molded milk, all type of molded stuff. Like, they just want me to catch mold. Like, I'm just tired of it, man. Would you just come and get it for me? Pick it up for me, man. Like, I'm just tired of y'all just, like, keep dropping this molded ass food off to me. Like, I'm tired of it. It's like, it's messing up my health. I can't, I can't even help it. Like, it's just, it's really bad for my health, man. Like, it's just bad. Like, just keep sending me mold, man. That's just like, it's just bad, man. I just, just can't stop just picking it up from my door, man. That's just getting on my nerves, man. It's just getting on my nerves, man. Real bad, man. Why y'all keep sending mold, man? Molded bread, man. Molded cheese. Milk with clumps of, like, cottage cheese milk. Like, Hello? Hello? Hello, is this Charles? Yes. This is Dorothy Vidal with Insure Me. It's your Charles, and I'm calling about the extra benefits or options surrounding your health plan with the insurance marketplace. How are you doing today, Mr. Charles? I'm doing good, man. The, the problem with that, man, is like, it, every time they send my medicine, it'd be hard to boo-boo, man. I'd be tired of that. Like, it, like I'm constipated now sitting on the toilet. Like, I'm straining. Like, mm, it hurt. Like, it hurt real bad trying to come out. Mm, mm. I might as well flush the toilet real quick because it's kind of stink. <laughs> Hello? Did you speak to the person who handles the Duke energy bill? That is you, right? Yeah, my energy bill, man, I'm telling you, man, like all the time, like, man, I'm just telling you, man, like this electric stuff and this water stuff and just the gas and heat, just everything is just like getting on my nerves. It's cold down outside. Like, why y'all make it snow just where you can make my heat bill go up? Like, that's just killing me. Y'all controlling this weather out here? Y'all got to be. Are y'all controlling the weather? Are you y'all gotta be controlling the weather? No, yes, y'all are. Y'all control the weather. That's why you called me right now, cause you knew it was cold and it was gonna be hot to, and cold today. And you knew my heat was out. You know what I'm saying? And you knew it was freezing in here. And that's the only reason why you called. Trying to get some money out of me to pay for some heat. Because it's cold outside. And you know the summer about to come. So now you want me to pay for some AC later too. I bet you got an offer for some AC too. I bet y'all just got. You know, I'm just, I just know y'all got all type of energy saving type of situations for me. Just know y'all do. I bet you. I bet you want to. I bet you want to come and keep me warm in your blanket probably. huh? That's going to be the next thing you're trying to sell me. huh? Uh, a warm. A warm plug up blanket. You know, that could get up under and cuddle up under a little bit. 
Just a little bit. Drop. Matter of fact, I think you should just come keep me warm instead of me paying bills. If you want to help me with these bills, they'd be like $700, sometimes eight, nine. I'd be like, dang, man, like I could barely even pay my rent. I could barely pay my rent because of these utilities bills. It'd be Duke, it'd be Hamilton, it'd be Energy Saver, this and everybody. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know where they located at and what's going on, though, but they just keep calling, too, and just keep calling and just keep calling and just keep calling, asking me to buy stuff, and they just keep calling and just keep calling and just keep calling. They won't even stop calling. They just keep calling, keep calling, and just keep calling. Just keep calling. Knowing that my utility bill is high as hell and knowing that it costs to answer phones. Like, that's electric, too. That's electric, too. Hold on. My neighbor want to borrow some soap. Hey, you you want to borrow some soap? You need some soap, neighbor. Yeah, yeah you want to borrow some soap. My neighbor needs to borrow but some the soap. the soap is cold. The, co the soap even cold. We can't even keep the soap warm in here because of electric bills. I'm like, it's like just crazy. You want to talk to her for a minute? Hey, to let her know about the about the electric bill. The soap is frozen, and it don't make no sense. How the hell are we supposed to wash our hands with some frozen-ass soap? Because oh. it's cold in here. Oh, you don't have an answer. She don't have an answer. Because it's cold in here. We already told you the answer. It's cold in here. The soap going to always be cold. And the soap going to always be cold. Uh, yeah, the soap can always be cold. Uh, everything be cold all the time. <laughs> hello? Hello? Hey, hello? Hello? Hey, good afternoon. My name is Jeffrey. How are you doing? Hey, man, I'm at the hospital, man. My wife is having a baby, man. She is having a baby, man. I can't wait. I'm the proud father, man. We've been waiting on this baby, man. Man, she's having a baby. Man, we've been waiting on this baby. Oh, shit. It's a black baby. What the heck? What is you doing with a black baby knowing we are not black, baby? Hello? Yeah? Are you there? Are you there? I guess not.